Tereska looks as though few words could express her thoughts. She described her work of art simply as home. She probably didn't look away from the blackboard when she was asked what she was drawing. Her shrewd stare, as well as her hand, which still holds chalk assertively to the board, suggests that she would rather not be disturbed, but disturbed she was. Tereska resided in a mental institution for children in Poland when David Seymour took this photo in 1948. Shim, as Seymour was widely referred to as, photographed not the trauma, but the aftermath, the survivors, the children, the mothers, and the beauty of relief. Because of his love and talent of depicting children, UNICEF, the United Nations Children Fund, commissioned Shim to depict children affected by World War II in efforts to raise awareness and money. However, he did not depict the terror of the children's situation, but the beauty of their character. In this photograph, Shim depicted a young girl traumatized by her experience in a German concentration camp. However, she does not look crazy or angry. At least that wasn't Shim's intent. He depicts her as an artist, too busy to be interrupted. An artist who should simply not be erased by a damp cloth, but should be exhibited in a gallery, maybe even with his own work. Some might call it abstract, while others may call it mindless scribbles. But to this little girl, this is home, which is something very real despite her mental stability. The girl wears a bow and what could be a dark dress, perhaps part of a uniform. History tells us that these orphanages were very poor at best. Children often went hungry and without shoes, but again, Tereska, as depicted by Shim, does not look poor, nor hungry. The caption in the accompanying photo is all that reveals the girl not to be in a wealthy home, or in a proper classroom making mischief at the board. Tereska may have been mentally disturbed, or traumatized, but in this photo, in this instant, this element not possessing any amount of time, she is simply an artist.